scout whisper. Yeah, good girl. All right, folks. So I'm doing some um, research down here at the river where there are a lot of irresponsible pet owners are dumping cats. And I'm using the uh, Boblov body camera, actually, to help document some of this stuff. As you can see, I have a pair of uh, night vision, day vision electronic binoculars hooked up to a battery pack. I have a trail camera right there that I'm using to, uh, I guess, count some of these cats. Obviously, they're not afraid of it. Hopefully, they don't make a mess on it. But um, here's a cool looking Siamese. But as you can see, that black one right there has a cropped ear, as does the Siamese. A lot of these other cats do. And that's usually a sign that they have been trapped and either spayed or neutered. There's a group of volunteers that come out and trap them in live traps, cage traps, and then they take them to a local vet that either at a reduced rate or volunteers to get the animal spayed and or neutered. Not and, because it's either or. If it's a female, they get it spayed. If it's a male, they neuter it. And then they release them back down here by the river in Central California. And uh, people come out and feed them. Darn near every day, I think. Food and water. So I don't think they're probably predating too much on the uh, native wildlife. You know, might be killing some birds and lizards and stuff like that, but for the most part, they're pretty well conditioned to come and eat the food that's donated by the cat ladies. Um, and there's a group of them. They come out here every day and, I don't know, probably dump out, I would say, at least 25 maybe 50 pounds of dry cat food and then they put water in the dishes for them but I've seen no less than 50 cats out here maybe more there's more on the other side of the parking lot as well they're spread out pretty good because uh, you know confined in a smaller area they'll probably fight more so they give each other some space they're not really afraid too much of humans. As you can see, there's one right here that's about just a few feet away from me. But um, anyway, yeah, so I'm using this camera just to document it, get some of the uh, close up video and pictures. That one looks like he's been in a fight a little bit because he's got a little bit of blood on his ear, but looks none for the worse. Good girl, nice catch. Hello folks, this is the Bob Law body camera. This is very similar to a body camera that would be worn by police officers and uh, law enforcement officers, deputies and stuff. Uh, I should know I'm a retired cop, but was a cop for about 27 years and I was used to wearing a body camera, at least for the uh, last three quarters of my career. The first part, they didn't even have body cameras back then. But anyway, this is a pretty heavy duty, well-built camera. Uh, affordable that would be great for either small departments on a budget or even private security companies. Uh, even though I'm no longer in the business, I still have one of these for either hiking, going out uh, hunting, stuff like that, or even metal detecting. Uh, I have it for my own safety in case I am accosted by somebody or somebody comes up and tries to uh, commit some violent crime against me. I have something to uh, document the incident. Um, 
And that way it would show that they're the offender and I'm the victim and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, this has a, an adjustable uh, lens. So you could point it up and down a little bit. Um, here's the lens right here. There's infrared LEDs here as well as visible, a white visible LED, which you get by turning the button on there. Uh, and I'm going to show you the screen. I don't know how well it's going to come up, but uh, get the lanyard out of the way. So you can switch it from day mode to night mode. And of course, since it's a uh, light in here, it's not going to really need the night mode, but it will go black and white. And then it'll use the infrared illuminators, which, as you can see, maybe a little bit of red glow on there on the two middle LEDs here, as well as here. And when I turn that off again, you can see that they turn off. So it's just a very, very faint red light and not even too visible, let me see, from the front. I guess you can see that they're red, um, but not uh, blinding or anything. But uh, this is a very neat camera. It has very good picture quality. It has a photograph option too. So if you have it turned on and, um, you want to record something, whether it's uh, wildlife or, or people, you could just press the button right here in front to record. And you'll get a, uh, a little red thing on the bottom here of the screen that'll say it's recording. And I'll just press that and show you. Okay, I just needed to do a little tap. Then it has a running countdown timer. So I have it set for, uh, I think just short videos. So it would stop automatically after a few minutes and then it would make another video. Instead of making one long video, it would just uh, stop and start another one. And then turn it off, you just tap it again and it will stop. And then you could do photo mode. As you can see, it stopped recording, no more red countdown timer. And then on the side here, there is a photograph button and a video button and an audio button if you could use it for an auto recorder. So the top one is the photograph. And it takes a picture, and which you can see on the back. Well, I can't see it right now, but I will show you um, that it does have a way to view. the pictures uh, that you take on there. I don't know if I can navigate this going uh, in reverse. But those are just pictures that I took on this camera. Um, and then the settings on here, obviously you could change the resolution for the video and the pictures the video length, um, just numerous, numerous settings. So it has a lot of, a lot more features than most police quality cameras would have, because usually those are just preset by the factory and uh, administrators have access. They could change the video length and all those other things. But this, uh, you don't have to have a special app or hardware to, um, or the cloud to store video, which, for evidence tampering purposes, the law enforcement cameras do usually go to a cloud, but this one, you could just uh, plug right into it, download the videos onto your computer and use them. So again, I use this for uh, my personal use. I'm no longer in the law enforcement business, but um, as you can see in the attached video, I was using it to document some wildlife down at the river, as well as my grand dog in my backyard. Uh, scout. You'll see here perform a trick or two. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. And uh, yeah, I definitely give this camera a thumbs up. Uh, it's a good quality camera at a reasonable price. It has three different mounting or wearing options. You could wear a lanyard around your neck. You could have a clip uh, right here, which does come off. And then it has a different clip that you could wear to uh, like clip it on your pocket or down the front of your shirt, whatever. Um, and then I believe you could even get an option to mount it in your vehicle and use it as a dash camera, which is pretty cool. I might do that next. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.